I was at Target today and I saw this electronic arcade pinball machine on clearance for $25. Now I've always been a fan of pinball, but I've never actually owned an actual pinball machine because they're like three or $4,000 and the maintenance on them seems like it's crazy. Um, if it breaks down, I don't know how to fix it. And it seems like they break down a lot. So I figured I'd get this and kind of test it out and maybe do a review on it and see how it compares to actual pinball. Obviously it's not gonna be as much fun as actual pinball, but hey, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot cheaper, and it might be just fun for a little bit just to kind of test out and see how, how it works. So let's check it out. So there is a little assembly required, but it's really not bad at all. When you get it, you get this one piece like this, which is the main board, and then it comes with these little feet. Here's one that just plugs in like this, and there's another big one for the other side in the back that plugs in. And then on the front, there's smaller ones. Uh, one goes here, and then the other one goes here. And you see that they have padding on them so that the pinball machine doesn't move around a lot when you're playing the game. And it does take some batteries. I believe it's either AA or AAA. I've actually already installed them, but I just want to show you guys where they go. It would have been nice if this was one of those little switches that you could just push in to lift off, but with this one you actually have to use a screwdriver to take the cover of the batteries off. And this is what it looks like. You see it takes three AA batteries. All right, I'm gonna put the top of this back on and then we'll start some gameplay to see how it plays. All right, so let's take a look at the play field here. We got these three bumpers up here. Then we have these other two bumpers over here that'll bounce the ball off. We have the two flippers that work with these buttons right here. Here's where you shoot the ball up and it goes around like this. And it comes down and falls between these holes sometimes or it goes over here to this side. Here's two places where the ball can exit out if you, um, if you lose your ball and the ball can also go down here. Now here's a neat little feature so that the ball doesn't move around a lot when you're carrying it. You can actually lock the ball into place right there. And then this is, I forget what it's called, the plunger I think, that actually shoots the ball up into the game area. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the pinball machine. We get some bright lights right away. We get our high score displayed and we get some music and the music i don't know if it could be turned off but it's not that annoying it kind of adds to the excitement of the pinball experience but before you actually start the game we're going to push this button here and um it'll give you a countdown it'll say five seconds and once it hits zero then you're ready to shoot your first ball it says ball one and you'll hear the uh motor go on it needs a motor to uh to bounce to make the ball bounce off the different bumpers in the game and you'll see my score is being displayed right there i just lost my first ball you get three balls let's shoot the second one uh you get you see you get a score oh i lost my second one you get a score when you hit these bumpers and i think when you hit these as well my game's over already i only got 510 points but i do like that it saves your high score you'll see it says high score is 3,800 points. I was thinking one day maybe I'll buy a pinball machine, but I just don't know if I'm ready for it yet, and I don't know if I want to give up the room to have one of those things. I also don't like how once you buy one, you're kind of locked into that one for the rest of your life or until whenever you decide to get rid of it. Um, I did look into getting one of those digital pinball tables, but it just doesn't feel like it would be the same thing playing on a digital table as it would be playing on a real table. It just doesn't, I know there's like haptic feedback and vibration and everything like that, but there's something about playing on a real pinball table where you can actually see the different layers that makes it a different experience than a digital field. And for such a cheap price, I just figured this would be a cool thing to have in the house. It's obviously nowhere near as cool as the real pinball experience, but for that I'll probably end up going to a real arcade or a pinball museum and just paying some money to play the real ones and not have to worry about the maintenance on them. But I'll see if my kids like this and I'll probably just take it out every once in a while to play some pinball. But I hope you enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.